Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Modern Warfare video. We are not on Cold War today. We are on Modern Warfare today. We're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna go back. We're gonna see what it was like last year. You guys remember. I know Modern Warfare is like not that old. I mean, people still are playing it now, but we haven't played in a while. We've been playing League, playing on Cold War. It's been a lot of fun. But let's hop into a Modern Warfare game and, uh, you know, let's just experience the M4 again is basically all I really want to do. And maybe bunny hop on some nerds. Dude, the very first game I get on, they want me to play Grozna Raid. No shot, dude. Peace. Map two, we get shipment. Let's go. Okay, I mean, I, oh man, I might need to pull out the uh, MP5. <laughs> we'll see what happens though. I kind of want to stick with the M4. Oh baby, we are absolutely about to get Krizzazzle dazzled. How do I? Oh, inspect it. There it is. The gold MP or the gold M4. I have the obsidian, but <laughs> dude, you guys remember that one time when we spent all that time to get like, uh, like diamond guns, and then instead we got like platinum or whatever, which was garbage. And then we spent even more time to get obsidian on our guns, which was even more garbage. And then for, thankfully I did it, but then for the few people, not few, but the people who, you know, were really passionate and got Damascus. And then that was like, so Damascus is not a garbage camel, but it is a garbage master camel. You know what I'm saying? I forgot. I can't sprint and reload in the slow paced action shooter that we were playing. But here we go. Let me, um. Who wants the sauce? You? Oh my goodness, we're on one right now, boys. We are on one right now. Oh no. Gone. I almost tried to shot punch that guy, but then I forgot you can just shoot people. And he died too quick before I even tried to shot. Oh my gosh, the kill streaks in this game are doo-doo cheeks though. That's right. The kill streaks, you gotta like aim them all like with your sight. Oh, a triple kill for the kid. Okay. Hold on. Let's uh oh let's grab this car 98. Here we go. You want it? No, you live! No! Oh, that would be sick. Oh man, shipment is literally pure chaos. Shipment is like a fun map to play, you know, when you haven't played Modern Warfare in like months. But in general, I mean, I can we like so here's I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to be the guy to complain, but can we actually get rid of shipment in Nuketown? The only time you know what? I take that back. You know why? Because they're really good for getting like dark matter. But other than that, I mean, oh my goodness, bro. We've seen these same maps for 800 years in a row. Oh, you can't even jump up here. I forgot Cold War has like your guys got some freaking Nike shoes on. In this game, we're just wearing Skechers, I guess. I don't know. I guess in this game, we're wearing actual steel toe boots because our guy... Wait, what happened? Oh, I accidentally picked up that gun. Oh, I have contextual tap on from Warzone. That's what happens. This game was, like, so close to being a perfect Call of Duty. Like, for real. Let's 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 think about it. How, how this game could have, like, been a perfect Call of Duty, okay? First of all, for competitive-wise, though, is what I'm talking about. Uh, I guess we can talk about it all in general. But uh, I'm definitely, like, more of a competitive player. Or I like to play competitive, not that I'm actually any good at it. Get away from me, you freak! <laughs> what is that guy doing? Um, so, one, like, if they made the time to kill... Oh, I have contextual tap on. If they made the time to kill just a little bit higher, you know, like, from, like, right now we're on 100, and then they could do a Cold War did and make it 150, that would have been nice, because look how easy that double kill was. Let me get a quad real quick for the kids. Oh, no. What do I have as my secondary? I've done 19, but I died to... What I even died to? I guess an AUG. Okay, whatever. But, so let's make the time to kill a little bit higher. Number two is the most obvious one. Should be number one, actually. Should be number zero. I shouldn't even have to say it. Is don't make it so, like... Or, like, the minimap should work. That's what it is. The minimap should absolutely work. The fact that the minimap doesn't work actually blows my mind, like, a ton. Like, what were they thinking? Next, we can talk about uh, killstreaks or scorestreaks. Scorestreaks is definitely a just a better a, just a better system. Killstreaks aren't necessarily terrible. You know, that's something that if it wasn't, if it was killstreaks and not scorestreaks, we, we'd still be fine. Uh, but score streaks are definitely all around like a better experience because it just gets your like public match teammates to actually play the objective at least a little bit. I mean, they still don't, right? They still don't, but at least a little bit they play the objective now. So, definitely, so we'll say score streaks on kill score streaks instead of kill streaks. And uh, let's see here. What else? Oh, just a couple more things because, like I said, this game was like a good game. It wasn't a terrible game. I mean, oh my goodness, what is happening? I just picked up this guy's gun by accident again because contextual chap, but whatever. I just spawned in and got got herded. But next we can talk about how Dead Silence was not a perk. That was a huge that's like up there with the no mini map. So uh yeah, definitely Dead Silence seems to be a perk, not a field upgrade. And then also trophy systems did to be a, a tactical grenade that can place the stuns and not a field upgrade. Because and that that's like for competitive specifically, of course. Like if if trophies like in even in Cold War, trophies need to go back to being a tactical grenade. That way people don't have to worry about like the smoke spam and stun spam and all that. In like competitive, we can just play, like use your trophy 
have a dedicated trophy player that has an attack every life does have a trophy that breaks after one or two uses i mean it's it seems pretty straightforward if you ask me now we are talking about a perfect game so we have to mention that these uh the camos actually have to not be garbage like they were in this game i mean gold is the best looking camo in this game like by far and it's like I mean, gold is like a good looking camo, but the other camos like suck. I mean, like I said, platinum, literally the worst, worst camo ever. I didn't mean to pick that up, but here we are. Literally the worst camo ever platinum was. Damascus was definitely by far the worst mastery camo ever because it's like, was just very bland. And then obsidian is just a, like, just like a default like gun. Like there's not even, you can't even tell that it has a camo on it. We have Edgar barking in the background right now. He's just vibing out in the living room. We got the windows open. It's a nice, a nice, nice day out. You know, we, uh, Edgar and I, we went on a nice long walk after this video's done. I'm gonna edit it up, go on another nice long walk with the young man. I didn't mean to pick this up, but here we are. Might as well descend her. Oh, I got a shotgun. That wasn't very nice of you. Wait, that wasn't even a shotgun. That was an MP5 that killed me. I just looked in the kill feed. What in the world is happening? Oh, oh, oh my goodness. But I'm trying to think, is that, that's about it? I mean, the kill streaks. I'm trying to think about the kill streaks. I guess if we're talking about competitive base, yeah, the kill streaks definitely need to be a revamp. I mean, artillery and cruise missile were our perfect kill streaks, I think, for competitive. You have your one cruise missile, which is the one you control, and then the artillery strike is a really good. Yeah, just basically just take the whole Cold War, the whole Cold War competitive kill streak system. Now for pubs, I, I, I don't really care to be honest. Like. I, the pub, I mean, yeah, I, I guess if we want to make it like the same across uh, public match and like competitive, yeah, definitely take the, definitely just take the Cold War system, like score streaks. Actually, don't take, hold on, I, hold on, I just remembered something. Don't take the Cold War score streak system because it sucks in pubs where like when you, like, like you don't lose your streak on death. Let's just go back to the Black Ops 2 score streaks. Let's just copy paste, straight up copy paste Black Ops 2 score streaks. There we go. Now we're good. You know, you have your, you have your cruise missile, basically. You have your lightning strike, and then you're good to go. Like, that's what, that's all you really need. And then, now we're gonna talk about, like, you know, like, so to keep this game perfect, you gotta keep the movement system in this game. I feel like the movement system in this game is really nice and free. Like, it's free, like, flowing, you know? Like, I feel like the movement system in this game feels great. Bunny hopping is nice. I didn't like tactical sprint at first, uh, but I actually really, I kind of miss tactical sprint a little bit, just because, but that's only because I run auto attack sprint, okay? If there's, you know what, actually, yeah. Because the pros don't even use auto attack sprint. They're not allowed to. Uh, but you have to have tactical sprint on for bunny hopping. You know what, I, I would, I'm willing to, like, keep auto attack sprint in. And even if I have to turn off auto tax sprint, or keep tax sprint, and even if I have to turn off auto tax sprint, tax sprint, as much as I didn't like it at the time, now that I don't have it anymore, it's one of those things where I'm like, you know what? That was actually nice because it literally, only because it allowed us to bunny hop. I just got another quad. Like, what is. <laughs> shipment is one wild time. I can tell you that right now. So definitely take the movement system from. Uh, from this game like the engine of this game I like yeah even the engine too like the quality of this game is better because this is like a newer engine like the Cold War engine is on an outdated engine like they we already know that like the next trailer game will be good again uh, or like good engine I mean the Cold War one's not even necessary wait we're losing I wasn't even paying attention oh my goodness I wasn't even paying attention to the fact we're losing I'm just shredding out dude I'm absolutely shredding let me let me in this hill let me in oh my goodness gracious we are getting shredded. There was one other thing. What was the other thing? Oh, dude, the Cold War jumping system, though. You definitely want Cold War jumping because how high we can jump in Cold War. What else? There's one other thing. Let me think about it. Where did I go? 55. Oh, wait a minute. That's another thing. Make it so we can actually see our deaths in the scoreboard. I'm on a for like, what is this game? 55 and what? What did I do? 55 and what? Oh, there we go. 55 and 35. Make it so I can see this screen the whole time. There's no reason you don't show the deaths. Okay, come on. We're not babies. If you suck, you suck. I'm trying to think of like what I was forgetting about, but in the like why while I was thinking about what I forgot, we also need the Cold War maps. Or not even just like we just need good maps. Like we just need better maps. The maps in this game aren't terrible, they're not amazing. The maps in Cold War aren't terrible, they're not amazing. Let's just take all the best maps from all the games and add them into here. And then I forgot what the other thing was I was thinking about, but basically right there we have like the perfect game, okay? Take all the good stuff from this game, take all the good stuff from this game, make them together, squish them together, and make us the best Call of Duty. But Modern Warfare, you know, playing it every once in a while, just, uh, you know, just because we can, it's, it's, I mean, it's still a fun game. I would still rate it a top game, okay? It's just that the minimap system sucked eggs, like, for real. The mini and Warzone is great, I just suck at it, so I don't like it. But that is gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys for hanging out and watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do not forget to, uh, leave a like and subscribe. We are on our path to 800 subscribers by the end of March, and I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.